Welcome to Business News. I am Yusuf Akogo. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, has downgraded its forecast for Nigeria's economic growth in 2024 to 3.1%, citing weaker growth recorded in the first quarter of the year. The new forecast was contained in the July 2024 World Economic Outlook of the IMF release on Tuesday. The Nago represents 0.2 percentage points below the earlier forecast of 3.3%. The downgrade followed weaker than expected gross domestic product GDP and growth recorded by the country in the first quarter of 2023. IMF, however, retained its 3.0% forecast for Nigeria's economic growth in 2025. The federal government, through the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation, has mandated all government-owned ministries, departments, agencies to remit 5% retention fee deducted from contractors' payment to the Central Bank of Nigeria. A memo signed by the Accountant General of the Federation, Oluwa Toy Madeni, said the move became necessary following complaints over non-payment of retention fees by MDAs upon completion of projects by contractors. The memo, which was made public on Wednesday, was dated June 27, 2024, and addressed to the Chief of Staff to the President, Femi Bajabiamila, all ministers, special advisors, service chiefs, foreign missions, amongst others. The retention fund is a form of security provided for any construction contract as limited security for due performance of the contractor's obligations under the contract. NGS closed in red as mixed sentiment trade stocks. Investors are shifting focus to fixed income securities. Let's see how it went down today. Leading the losers there is RTB Square down 5.71% to close at 66 copper per share. Of course, FT and Coco also down 4.4%. 4% to close out 1 naira and 72 cover per share. Of course, Tantalizer PLC down as well, 4.26% to close out 45 cover per share. Of course, this has pushed down the market downward by marginally, though you will see 0.1% in terms of volume of trade. Over uh, a billion volume of shares were traded today, valued at 10.07 billion naira in the days of 8,720. Did exchanges among investors this Wednesday? The top trading equities in terms of volume, Jais Ban leading that table, 528.490 million shares. It traded this day, Cortis Nigeria PLC 194.643 million shares. Of course, Zenith Bank 77.751 million shares. It traded at the close of business this uh, Wednesday. Of course, some equities ended on the gaining side of the market. Leading that table is UCAP. UCAP gained 10% to close at 36 naira and 30 copper per share. Of course, Afri Prod also up 9.88% to close at 8 naira and 90 copper per share. Of course, this Nigeria PLC up 9.86% to close at 6 naira and 13 copper per share. There. That's the highlight of stock trading as it went down this Wednesday on the floor of NGS. Let's see the global stock market and exchange rate data for today. <music> Price rose on Wednesday, a day after benchmark Brent hit a one month low as a decline in US oil stock price and a weaker dollar overshadowed signs of weakening demand in China. At the London market, Brent cool sells for $84 per barrel. For the open basket, price drops by over 2%. And that's business. I am Yusuf Akou.